Dr. Niranjan Hiranandari, let me start with you first. The growth story. It's uh, perhaps the key is the fact that there is a vaccine right around the corner. There is a dry run which is uh, scheduled on the 2nd of January. But that perhaps is going to trigger the hope, the positivity, the mood of the bounce back. I am extremely bullish uh, after this announcement of the vaccine. And I think AstraZeneca should be cleared within another 8 to 10 days. I think this is going to be a change which would be the real change which is going to take place. Number two, we have the, one of the lowest mortality rates mm. in the entire world. So what we have seen is that our health system has been able to manage mortality lower than most of the Western countries. So I think that's a plus plus point that we've been able to tackle it. The third point is that we've been able to actually see to it that our building, our uh, manufacturing and other areas have been able to take off in the last six months. Barring the first three months of the COVID situation with a total lockdown situation, uh, we have been able to spring back, spring back to such an extent that my steel and cement uh, factories are now working at 95 to 100 percent and in one case 110 percent of their capacity. So you can see the changes which have taken place. Take the case of real estate, my field of activity. We have seen an unexpected rise, unexpected rise, which is almost 53 percent on a year to year basis. And we have only done nine, wow. uh, nine months or 10 months of the year, which has happened. Of course, there are good reasons for this to happen, but it has happened. And on the ground, we are seeing this uh, take place. We have been able to uh, see new launches take place in the 30, last 30 days. I think that's a new news that we are really getting. Affordable housing apartments, which the Prime Minister has talked about under the PMAY scheme, 1.1 crore houses will be completed by 2022. The PMLA Y scheme is working and people are getting into the manufacturing mode. And of course, the biggest one of all, foreign direct investment has been the highest ever, both in yes. the case of Reliance and of course in real estate, we have seen the new investments coming through the REITs uh, segment. So we are seeing international investments take place and the stock market is indicative of which direction we do. I am bullish. I'm looking at a 10% positive growth rate by Diwali next year, maybe a 5% GDP growth by June of next year. So actually by uh, March or April, the turnaround will start. And I think we see a positive story after that. Once the health workers and the above 60s get vaccinated, the rest of the people, the mortality is low and we'll be able to take care of it. So we, once we have the first segment of people vaccinated, the country will completely change and you will see a very bright arc for next year.